Does SchoolhouseTeachers.com really have everything you need to successfully homeschool all of your kids for just $15 a month? Or is it a big waste of time? Is this an online homeschooling program or just a print curriculum that you print at home? We're going to answer these questions and more in today's video. And if you want to know how to get access for your whole family for less than $15 a month, keep watching and I'll tell you how a little later in the video. So what exactly is SchoolhouseTeachers.com? Well, it's a website for homeschoolers that promises to give you everything you need to successfully homeschool all of your kids from pre-K through high school. But at first glance, this website looks very confusing. Is it a print curriculum? Are they going to ship materials to you? Is it online? What a mess! But don't worry, I'm going to explain it all to you. Because how can you make an informed decision about whether or not this is a good homeschooling program for your family if you don't even know what it is? SchoolhouseTeachers.com is not an online homeschooling program. It's also not a print curriculum. Meaning, even though they have pictures of books and school boxes on their website, it's mostly all just digital downloads of curriculum. But don't let that scare you away. Because when I show you how you can get all of this for less than $15 a month for your whole family, you may decide you actually like it, as long as you have a good printer. If you want a recommendation, I've shared a link to the printer I use in the video description below. Basically, you pay a membership fee to their website and included in your membership is everything you need to homeschool. They have planning resources, curriculum guides, complete curriculums in all the core subjects plus electives, video lessons, and even free access to the World Book Online Resource Library. They also include free access to Apple Core online record keeping, so you can track your child's grades and create a portfolio and transcripts. And I just want to mention this is a Christian curriculum, so if that's not something you're interested in, this may not be the right homeschooling program for you. Okay, so let me show you how all of this works and how you can use it to homeschool your kids. The first thing you'll need is a membership. Unfortunately, they do not offer a free trial, so hopefully this video will give you enough information to decide if it's worth paying for. Their membership options depend on whether you want just pre-K through 8th grade or pre-K through 12th grade. One membership covers your whole family, so make sure you choose a plan based on your kids' age ranges. Both plans offer yearly, quarterly, or monthly payment options. There's also a buy one, get one, two-year special right now, where you can get two full years for just $269.97, which is a really good value. But if you're like me, you might prefer to pay monthly, at least to start, so you can make sure it's something you plan to use long term before you fully commit to it. And I promise to tell you how you can do this for less than $15 a month. So here's how. Choose the pre-K through 12th grade option, choose the monthly payment option, and then use code MONTHLY at checkout. Instead of paying $29.97 a month, you'll pay just $14.98 a month. I've got the link for you in my video description because it can be hard to find on their website. This is what I signed up for, so I know it definitely works. You might also notice this Bright Beginnings Starter Kit. This is the only time something might actually come to you in the mail. It includes everything that you would get in a regular membership, plus some extras like mentor mom time, a tote bag, and some print issues of their magazine. And honestly, unless you've got a lot of extra money to throw around, I don't recommend this. Okay, so now that you've signed up for SchoolhouseTeachers.com, how do you get started? Well, you can go to their Start Here section for more information, but it's not really necessary, especially if you watch this whole video. The first thing I would do is figure out which courses you're going to use and which grade level you want to use for each course. There are several different ways to view the courses. If you go to School Boxes, you can get access to a ready-made curriculum plan for each grade level. So it's the simplest way to start if you just want to pick a grade level and go for it. For example, let's look at fourth grade. Scroll down here and you can see they have all the fourth grade courses including math, language arts, science, social studies, and more. You can click up here to add this to your collection, which is like adding it to your favorites for quick access later. I'll show you how to view your collection a little later in the video. 
So let's look at one of these subjects for fourth grade. How about language arts? Click on it and you can download the curriculum guide. This will open up a PDF that you can save to your computer or print if you like. Many of the PDFs on here include links and are editable. So I recommend you save them to your computer so you can edit them as you go and access the linked material when you need to. But if you want to print it, you do have that option. If you scroll down, you can see they have the whole school year planned out week by week. So you don't have to do any lesson planning. You can just follow along and go through all the lessons exactly as they have them mapped out for you. If we look at week one, we can see there are five daily lessons. There are two links here at the top to the material that you will need for the lessons. Click on this one and it will bring you to where you can download the lessons. We'll need units one to four to start. So open this up and these are the lessons that you'll be working on. So you'll want to print this out. This alone is 197 pages. So you can see you're definitely going to need a good printer and lots of ink ready. If you want to print the answer keys, you can do that here. It also tells us here that we will need to download loving literature through chapter books. For week one, it wants us to download the Boxcar Children Unit Study. To do that, we'll go here, scroll down to Unit Studies, find the Boxcar Children, and download the Unit Study here. You're also going to need the actual book. And while some books can be found online with the included subscription to the World Book Online, Many are not included in this homeschooling program. So you're going to need to plan ahead and most likely get the book from your local library ahead of time. Or you can, of course, purchase the books if you choose. Many of these books can also be found online for free. You just need to know where to look. For instance, I found this book, The Boxcar Children, on Gutenberg.org. So that's how the lesson plans work if you just want to do a whole grade level lesson plan for any subject. So if we were to just stick with the fourth grade lesson plan, we would open up each of the subjects and do the same thing. Print the lesson plans and any corresponding lessons and resources that we may need. Now you can of course use different grade levels for different subjects. If you want to search for a particular subject, you can view their courses by grade, by subject, by unit studies, and more. They also have the scope and sequence for all of their courses, which I'll show you how to get to in a minute. You may notice here they have something called IST courses. These are interactive courses done in real time. This is a newer option on the schoolhouseteachers.com website, so there aren't a lot of offerings yet, but they plan to add more soon. You will need to fill out a form to get access to this platform and then wait a few days for your login. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, I have not yet received my login info, but if that's something you'd like me to cover in an upcoming video, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to do a separate video on it. You can also view all courses here. You can see there are an awful lot of courses included on this website. If you prefer to pick and choose which courses you wanna use in your homeschool, you can look through all of these courses and then if you find one you like, you can bookmark it for later. Now that you hopefully understand how the courses and lessons on this website work, let's take a look at the planning tools. You can go over here to planning and there are a bunch of different options. If you're interested in viewing the scope and sequence for each of the courses, you can do that here. Custom Schedule Builder is where you can find all the different printable resources to help you plan your school year. You can view sample schedules, create a custom schedule, and more. No matter which of these options you choose, when you open it up, you can type right in the form. So you can save it to your computer and use it digitally or print it out. The choice is yours. They also have something here called the Schoolhouse Planner. From the pictures here, you'd think this was a digital online homeschool planning app, but it's actually just another PDF file. You have to go through this whole process to get access to it. Click here to add it to your cart, then enter the code at checkout that you'll find in your member dashboard. I'll show you how to find that in a minute. Then you'll be able to download this planner. And here it is, just another PDF that you can edit on your computer. It's nice enough, but I can't imagine anyone paying $34 for it. 
If you're looking for an actual online homeschool planning app, I have a video on my channel that you should check out where I reviewed 10 of the best online homeschool planners. There are some really great and affordable options there. Down below here, you can also find other printable resources such as calendars and info charts. Now let's take a look at the Apple Core record keeping tool. You will need to sign up and provide the discount code that comes with your schoolhouseteachers.com subscription. Apple Core does have a scheduling component to it, but that isn't included with your membership. You will still have access to the attendance tracker, courses and grading, and portfolio sections. So you can use this to track your child's courses that they're taking, grades, and attendance. But if you want to use the schedule planner, you'll need to upgrade. And if you're planning to pay $10 a month for this just to get access to the online planner, I suggest you watch my video where I review 10 online homeschool planners because there are some more affordable options out there. Over here, you can access the library of streaming videos. They have over 25,000 videos here, so there's a lot to choose from. If a video is part of a lesson, there will be a link to the video in the lesson PDF but you can also come here and search for a specific video to watch whenever you want. You're going to have to sign up for yet another account, this time with Right Now Media. Don't worry, it's free with your membership. Just click Browse up here and you can search for a specific video or just look through the video topics. Lastly, up here is the World Book. This is an online resource library that is also included in your subscription. Just like with the video library, there will be lessons that link to resources on WorldBook, so you'll need to sign up for access to this as well. You can browse the ebooks and resources here whenever you like, or just use it when needed as part of a lesson. Now, before we get into what I think about the program, let me just show you the member dashboard. This is where you can find your bookmarks, membership info, and more. So to get there, you click up here on member dashboard. If you click on my account, you can print a student and teacher ID card here, which might be useful as a homeschooler. Click here to view details of your membership, and then click here. This is where you can go to view your account info and cancel if you need to. My bookmarks is where anything you have bookmarked will be stored. Activities and events run by schoolhouseteachers.com can be found here. Community features are here, such as a homeschool blog and their Facebook group. Lastly, member perks are here. This is where you can find the code to download that planner I showed you earlier in the video for free instead of paying $34. I think that's everything I wanted to show you about the schoolhouseteachers.com online homeschooling program. So now comes the part of the video where I tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. We'll start with what I like. Well first, I like that they include every course and lesson plan that you could want in a full homeschool curriculum and it can all be accessed online. So you don't need to buy expensive books and courses and wait for them to be shipped. You can just get started right away. I also like that because you have access to everything all at once. You can pick and choose your courses and grade levels. So you aren't stuck with just one grade level. You can really customize your child's schedule however you want. I also love that you can get all this for your entire family for less than $15 a month. If you missed it earlier in the video, don't forget to use the link I've shared with you in the video description and code MONTHLY to get the pre-K through 12th grade monthly subscription for just $14.98 a month. To be able to homeschool your entire family for that price is amazing. But of course, there are some things that I don't like so much about SchoolhouseTeachers.com and I have to share that with you as well. The first thing I don't like is that their website is a little confusing to navigate, almost like they have too much going on. Hopefully this video helped you understand it better, but it can definitely be overwhelming. I also didn't like having to sign up for so many different memberships. Even though everything is included and I didn't have to pay anything extra, I still found it bothersome to have to do. Make sure to bookmark all those other websites for access later on. I also don't like that they don't include the actual books that you need for the language arts courses. There are many free ebooks online, and it would be nice if they could link to these in the lessons. Overall, if you're looking for an affordable Christian homeschool curriculum that can be accessed online, I think schoolhouseteachers.com could be a great option for you. 
It takes the hard work of lesson planning away and allows you to focus on teaching and learning with your kids. And I think they'll definitely learn a lot with this curriculum. Have you tried schoolhouseteachers.com with your family? I'd love to hear about your experience in the comments. And if you have any questions, please let me know and I'd be happy to help. If you're already a subscriber, please know how much I appreciate you. If not, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming homeschool review videos. Thank you so much for watching.